Good morning, everybody. I know I'm running a few minutes late today. I'm sorry. I have the headache from heck. And so I'm running a little off today. So bear with me here. You got plenty of goodies to look at. I need to make sure my volume's off. Oh, good morning, Donna Woods. Good morning, Dancy Franklin. How are you this morning, ladies? Good, I hope. As you can see, there's lots of pretties to look at this morning, and you weren't supposed to see that one. Sorry. Um, I... Something's going on here. I can't see your comments. There we go. Um, there we go. Hello, Paula Poindexter. Today we're going to be talking about Rooted in Nature from the new book. For those of you that don't have one, I know Nancy doesn't, I don't think, and I know Donna doesn't because hers is in my truck. Um, you guys will be getting yours very, very soon. I can promise you that. Um, let me take a swig of coffee here. I can tell you now, I think the table's probably a little too cluttered to have any guests with us today, which I would, I would kind of giggle, I guess. <laughs> a couple of orders of business first. I wanted to bring up the, and yes, I'm walking around the room. I wanted to bring up the paper share. For those of you that have not participated in a paper share before, you can still have time to get in on this. I'm not closing this out until June 14th what this entails. So I'll give you a little explanation real quick. Each of these paper packs, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different paper packs involved in this paper share. Each paper pack has a minimum of 12 pieces in it, 48 because that's a six by six, but you've got a couple of 12 by 12s here that are 24. So you get quite a bit of paper and you get a six by six piece of every single piece that's in this pack. So you'll get 24 pieces here, a six by six, you get 12 pieces here, six by six. For this, for these, you'll get a quarter of the pack. So there's 48 pieces, you'll get uh, 24, or to 24 is so that, 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 that she'll you'll get 12 pieces out of these three six by sixes and yes this wood texture is a returning color but because or returning paper pack but because it was such a big hit I will be adding that again now any questions besides this please let me know Money's due by the 4th of June. This is on whispersinink.net. Sorry. As an event, you can pay that way as well. So if you go to whispersinink.net, go to the event page, and you can pay directly there. It comes, it goes, I get email notification that you paid there. And that's all good to go. So, one of the papers, excuse my reach, one of the papers that is not included in that paper share is this new, and I know it's going to be, that you're going to get a small glare on that, so I'm sorry, is this new laser cut paper, and I'm trying to watch... This pack, or there's two sheets involved in this pack. There's the 
full flower page. And I'm trying to watch. There we go. Um, now each side, I don't know if you noticed, there's two sides to these papers. There's uh, the Whisper White side and the Very Vanilla side. What's cool about this is that you can use your dauber, your brayer, or um, a sponge and make these pretty much any color you want. And I'm going to teach you how to do that in June's Stamp Camp. We're doing a, our very first paper pack stamp camp. So for $25, you get a full pack of this, which, Paula, remind me, how many pages are in this pack? Because I don't want to look it up. Um, you'll get a full pack of, these, of this paper. And I want to say you get four of each of the design, so there's eight pieces. We're gonna make three cards and a thing. Yes. No, there's only two different paper styles, but I wanna say that there's, you get four of each, right? Anyways, this is what the stamp camp's going to be. So $25, you get a pack of the paper, plus three cards and a thing. What the thing is yet, it's a secret because I don't know yet. I have an idea, but I want to put it together first. So that's this. The dates for the stamp camp are June 19th, which is a Tuesday at noon, or June 24th, which is a Sunday at noon o'clock. And all these times that I give you are always central. So... If you need adjustments for that, let me know as well. So that's this. Back to this business today. Paula's not sure and she must not have her catalog by her. So, all right. I wanted to go through this wooded, rooted with nature set. This set is a pricey bundle, I'm going to tell you right now. It's in the $74 range. But I'm going to tell you, versatile set. Now, for those that follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this card. It's just a small little 3x3 three three that I did, but we're going, I'm going to teach you. I had a lot of comments at the open house that wanted to know how I did this tree. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Super cute, right? Okay. The Rooted with Nature is such a versatile set because these are the stamps that you get. It is a two-pack set. So you get two. This is, both of this is one Stamp set. Look at the detail that you get, and I'll show you some of the different things that I've done with this set once I get go through all this stuff. This is a super bund um a super sweet because you've got stamp sets, which we'll be using today. You have die cuts, which we will be using today. You get they have um, the nice new thick twine. You get that is included in this color suite. The markers are just markers we're using today. And here is just this beautiful paper pack, which I think we've kind of gone through it before. But because they use the Razzleberry and the grapefruit, this is a strict, not strictly a masculine set, you guys the texture that is involved in this paper pack too. And I've used all of that. Oh, no, I didn't use all of it. I've used most of this. Paula, this is, oh, hey, Becca. Oh, Paula must have found her book. And she says that detailed uh, laser cut paper, you do get four each. And so eight pages total. Paula has a hard time cutting into designer series paper. And there are times that I do. I have been known to be a paper hoarder. Um, 
thank goodness with this color revamp that I was because I was able to show you colors right away. This paper, though, I used on a really big project, and that's one of the things I'm going to show you today. And I wish B was here because um, she'd be able to see it in action because she's actually involved in it. So that's the delicious paper. So I'm going to show you some samples other than the one, this little 3x3 three three that we did, or that I already did. And... The first sample that I'm going to show you is the one that we made at um, our Milwaukee event. This was the sampling of the paper that, or of the suite that we were able to do at our event. There are, and I, I know I have them, but I could not find them, and I'm really, really sorry. Um, little trinkets, and these trinkets come in the copper and in the silver, and they are fantastic. They are pretty heavy, so they will add a little bit of postage if you mail this. Good morning, Jan. Thanks for stopping in. So this is just one sample, and they used quite a bit. They used that nice little stripe paper, too, along with the leaves, so we're mixing patterns here, and I know that drives poor Rocky crazy, but the one that I was able to get done for the open house so that you guys could see it is this little beauty. I wanted to show you how pretty mixing just the twine would be. And this, thinking of you, is heat embossed black. I hope that you can see the little bit of shine on that. And what I did do is I used the stitched framelits to cut those out and here's more of that really pretty paper and then this is our grapefruit grove and I used the blackberry bliss so I was kind of a troublemaker with that one so but here's that sample but the one that I really really like I was super excited about and I did get permission from B and Trevor to use I did, and I'm going to move these, I did this. I love doing wooden picture frames. I'll flip it over. I love doing these dollar picture frames. I used that leaf pattern, that one that Paula really likes. I put it on top of the wood frame and I stamped and I double stamped these leaves, stamped and I curled and I connected them with strips of the burlap ribbon that really thick and here's a section of it. I pulled this burlap ribbon, I pulled it apart. So I cut a long enough strip, probably about like this, and I just pulled the pieces apart. And that's what I used to make these little curly cues that go through it. I double stamped that, just like those other leaves. And then again, I heat embossed on the vellum because I just wanted just the wonderful part to show and I didn't want to see any paper. And yes, I did fussy cut that out and these are those large letters. Now the colors that I used here are the soft suede. The background paper on these things are crumb cake. And with this, I used the uh, Call Me Clover with the shaded spruce. Thanks, Becca. I appreciate the compliment. We missed you on Thursday. I was hoping you would stop by. And then this is gold embossed. The wonderful is. Um, this, the life part is double die cut out and then stacked on top of each other. And I have to tell you, you guys, I did find a reason, if I didn't mention before, did find a reason to use those mini dimensionals because they fit like a charm in between here. So this was the this was the big one. I really, really was excited about how this turned out. 
So I hope that you guys enjoy it too. Um, so moving on, let's get down to getting crafty. We'll put that over to the side. Oh, we're going to be using another new stamp set. Oops, sorry. I'm um, going to be using another new stamp set today. As I take a swig of coffee, sorry. We're going to be using, they, the, they, retire, they are retiring the Teeny Tiny Wishes. So if you wanted the Teeny Tiny Wishes, you better hurry up and get it. But I have to tell you that these itty bitty greetings are super cute. I bought them because I use the Teeny Tiny Wishes all the time. Those are my backup sentiments. So you have, here's your thank you. You've got sympathy, engaged, forever and always, which could be great. Father's Day, you have Mother's Day, baby, um, showers, um, support, congratulations, best wishes, the hello friend, or the hi, hey friend, and there is a, a little hello. So this set, Paula asked where I buy those frames. I do buy them at my local craft store, and if you want to know specifically where, I uh, private message me and I'll let you know. So these itty bitty gratitudes or itty bitty greetings because I was reading the gratitude sorry are are a great addition because we lost those uh teeny tiny wishes so we will be using this this is what I used on that little three by three that I showed you the many thanks is from this set this one right here so nice set um, wood mount and clear mount on this. I did go, I was brave. I did go with the clear mount on this one. I, and I figured that, remember the tip that I gave you guys last week where you could take the back off? I did, I figured that worst case scenario if things got kind of, kind of fun, uh, hard to get sticky that that's what I would do. So I hope that you guys want to take another look at that, you let me know. All right, so let's get down to, let me find my piece. Let's get down to seriousness here. I'm going to show you how to do that shading. We're going to use three different markers. Now, who has these markers. I know Paula has some, and I think that Becca has some. Hey, Jen Moore, you came just at the right time because I'm bringing up the marker club. Markers, these markers are a little pricey. They're $123 for 100 markers. So, okay, $123, can I afford that all in one bang? Probably not. But here's what you can do. And I wrote it down so that I wouldn't forget. Here's my scrap piece. Isn't that a nice scrap piece of paper, guys? Marker club information. You need, oops, sorry. You need five people. Five people and $36 a month. And you have to commit for five months. But here's what you get. Each month, you get... One person gets neutrals, one person gets brights, one person gets regals, one person gets subtles, and the one and the fifth person gets the in colors. So, how this works is I order and I apologize for the reach. I order one box and I apologize I haven't gotten my new marker set yet. You get I order one box plus the two in color packs. What the, the group gets, the five people, the hostess gets the box, the hostess gets the hostess points, and the hostess gets the in colors. So the other four people, one person will get the subtles, the regals, the brights, and the neutrals, depending on what they've already gotten. 
Everybody takes a turn at being a hostess, so you get the hostess rewards for that. Every person gets a chance to get some extra goodies. They can even add to their order if they want because this is going to be a five-month commitment club. Now, does it have to be June, July, August, September, October, November, or October? No. We can do June, skip July, go um, August. K skip, oh my goodness. Skip September, go to October, and do the five months every other month. Because I get it, $36. We don't always have $36, particularly around the holidays. I totally get that. But get five people together, get the box, get all the markers, particularly with this new color revamp. You guys, these colors are fantastic. We're going to be using one of the new colors today. This is one of the new neutrals. This is the Mary Merlot. Isn't that pretty? Look at how nice that looks up against that crumb cake. Yum, yum. So... That's the information I'm going to post on my blog, the information about the Marker Club. So five people, let's say if Becca wanted to get four other ladies together and each month you guys take a turn at being a hostess and then all you have to do is spend the $36. You guys can join your club. We can either, you can do um, just that as your club or we can do a club here at the house and we can make a card and I can show you how to use the markers or each ho I can meet at each hostess's house of the group and you can um, do a couple cards. It's up to you how you wanna do the club. These are the things that's nice about doing a club because we kind of determine what we're going to do. So anyways, back to back to making the tree. I wanted to make sure, though, that I told you guys about the possibility of that club. It's a great way to get ink because all of these markers can be used on all of your stamps. The stamp and blends, which are fantastic, you cannot use those on your stamps and put the image on a piece of paper. Big, big difference in the two products. Anyways, all right, now you will see, I have an oddball marker here. My garden green is so old, and it still works fantastic, you'll see. My garden green is, oh, probably from the early 2000s, and but it still works wonderful, so I haven't had to replace it. But we're going to be using, obviously, the Garden Green. We are going to be using the Soft Suede. And yes, this is Lemon Lime Twist. Now, what was I thinking, right? Oh, I don't know, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to take, and there's two ends on our markers. There's the paintbrush end. And there is the fine tip end. For all of what we're doing today, we're all going to be using this paintbrush end. And then we're going to be using this tip of the soft suede. I was having computer difficulties, sorry guys. And we're going to just brush on here for the tree trunk. That's easy enough, right? There's just two, three little slots right here. We wanna make sure to get those in. Make sure to get a nice full coat on that trunk. And we're gonna put this, we're gonna put this aside. And then we're gonna go with our garden green. Garden green, we're going to kind of go all in the middle. And we're going to do a little thicker in some spots and a little bit thinner in others. And we're just kind of going around. Yeah, we're doing this a little haphazard. 
but it's not going to matter. Sorry, I got fuzzies. Probably kitty fuzzies, but... Because you know Penelope's on this table when we're not in here. All right. So, we're doing that. And then, for this part... I'm going to put the paper over here. For this part, you want a little napkin or paper towel or something like that. Now, I would say chamois, but I don't want to take all the ink out of my marker. I just want to take the dark part off of my marker. So we're going to do this like we do the, um, the watercolor pen. You know how you take the ink off the tip. So that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going to take this and we're going to just drag some of the color around. Clean it off. And then start again. The cool part is, is, you guys, is that none of these trees ever turn out exactly the same. And clean it off a little bit. And you are going to want to do a little bit of blending. But you want you don't want to lose all of that dark. And you don't want to lose all of that lemon lime twist either. Go over, make sure you're happy with how it looks. And you're saying, Jennifer, I don't know what it's going to look like. Well... What you're going to want to do after you got it, you're looking at it and it looks pretty good. You're going to want to huff <sighs> all of it, all the way across. And then there's our image. What do you think? Pretty? We're going to take this image and we're going to die cut it out. And here is... A different one that I did. Similar. It's already cut out, but not exactly the same, right? So this same technique as this, just a slightly different look. What should we do with this? Let's make a card. We're going to make a full-size card based on this. I've already got my card base, put that to the side, and I have some pieces. We're gonna do a little stamping on this piece with our crumb cake. I gotta move some things around here, guys, sorry. I wanna make sure, where did I put, there it is. Make sure, oh, thank you, Paula, for the claps. I appreciate that that we got this cleaned off. So this is the leaf pattern from the Rooted With Nature stamp set. And we're gonna take this and we're going to make our own little background. Kind of, I don't wanna say haphazard, but you know, just kind of doing a little bit of stamping around. Knowing that we're going to, for me, this is going to be somewhere in the middle of that. And we'll use this there. All right, there's our background piece. And I think I did, I forgot to cut a piece, you guys. Doggone it. All right, well, let's see. I know I have my cutter on this table somewhere. So let's use our Stampin' Up! cutter. We're going to, I forgot to cut the piece for the, the wood cut. Stay. So we got this. Here is that big, cut out of wood and we're going to use the soft suede for that. And 
And did you notice how quiet it is here today? Joe's back at work. Even the kitties are sleeping, I think. So we're going to take this. I am going to make the, I'm going to do the tearing just on the edge here. Plus, I have the air conditioning on already, you guys, because my head is killing me today. Gosh. All right. So, a little bit of tearing. Kind of roughing it up a little bit. We're going to take our sponge, and we're going to sponge all the way around. And there's that piece. And we're gonna put this on this. Pretty, right? That is that Mary Merlot, that new neutral. So pretty, so pretty. Of course. Empty, that's not gonna work. All of mine are empty. Doggone it. All right, well, I still have fast feeds left. I'm sorry you can't get it anymore, but I'm still using it just to use it up. All right, there is our wood piece. And we're going to use this crumb cake twine on this one. And we're just going to put a little... You could do a knot. I know how nobody likes to do a bow. But I do. Everybody cries about the bow. All right. This one, I used the linen thread. This one, though, I used the... Because I didn't have the new Rooted with Nature twine yet. So this one we're going to use the twine on. All right, so we have this. Here's our base. Oh, goodness. And we gotta get it the right direction. You guys saw the sneak, you guys got a sneak peek. And then we need dimensionals. For the back of this. Oops. I'm gonna have to move that one. Yep. And these are paper pumpkin ones, so they're gonna take me a minute to get off. But I have everything cut already, so magic of video. That's why I was late. Hey Vicky Fritz, you missed it. I explained. The whole monthly club thing. So we're going to do that on here. Like that. And I used the same leaf pattern. And I did it in the garden green. And I figured that we would take these. Now, how do I make the stuff curl? Like in that picture frame? All you do is you take your bone folder and you loosen the paper fibers. Obviously with these, you have to be very careful because they will, they will rip. Take this with the glue dot, as so long as the glue dots cooperate. And you put that one there. And then we put the second one. I think we're going to put that one down here. Like that. And I do have a dimensional on this tree. Do you see where we're going with this, you guys? Pretty darn similar. And I was going to do many thanks on the on this big one, but I think I'm going to switch sentiments. 
because I think a little hello would be really cute. So we're gonna put this many thanks back. And I'm going to find a little hello in the itty bitty greetings. And I had scrap whisper white, or not whisper white. I had scrap, there it is, very vanilla. There we go. And we're gonna use the garden green for the sentiment. that we're gonna flag it so I'm gonna cut it here close this need one little dimensional that's the other thing see how perfect that fits in there love these mini dimensionals now and we'll put this a little hello right there. So here's the, here is the original three by three. Here is when I wanted to make sure how I was gonna do it. I actually pulled apart the twine. This twine has three different strands in it. And I thought pulling it apart would be fun. I didn't wanna make you guys suffer through that. So here are the three different samples. Rooted with nature. I hope I made you wanna get it. Here's the cards we made today. Here are a couple of more samples. And then the picture frame. I'm grabbing it, trying to do, uh, be a contortionist. And then the picture frame that I did. This is Trevor, for those that haven't seen him, and this is his girlfriend, B. My my sweet kids. Bringing tears to my eyes, oh my goodness. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day getting crafty. Any questions, contact me. And I hope that you guys have a great Saturday. See you next time, guys. Bye.